Welcome to a story time. This one's from Nate. I'll be attending university in the fall. Got any tips for me as someone who has went to and taught at one, both life and pogo related. And I'm going to try a little bit of different video. This is going to be a longer form uh, video where I'm going to be telling you a more extended story, not be constrained uh, by the one minute, but hopefully make this shorter than 10 minutes. But let me, I just want to reflect back to my first year university experience. To put in context, I graduated high school. I was a valedictorian in my class. I was student council president. You know, I played on the volleyball and rugby team. I was the chess captain of my team. We had won the high school uh, chess championships. You know, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was anything I wanted to to do uh, at my high school. I was able to do through really hard work and through hard work and dedication. And you know, I went to university thinking that you know i would just continue working hard and and uh, and continue to see success but I, I was soon hit by the reality of, of it all i was surrounded by many brilliant students and i remember i tried to for you know these extracurriculars i was i was someone that if i want to do an extracurricular I, I could do it so i i signed up to uh to i i registered to be on this on my residence council uh, where basically you plan activities for the residents and, you know, advocate for changes and whatnot. You know, I was student council president. I thought, like, I'm very well qualified for this position, and I thought I could do a really great job. I ended up losing the vote by, like, a humongous landslide. And I, I tried to volunteer and interview for a bunch of other positions. I didn't get it. I even went to one. It was for our, basically, the equivalent of student council uh, at the University of Waterloo, and there was only two people there. And I think there was actually legitimately two spots for uh, for for these positions. And I went up and presented and pitched myself, and I actually didn't end up getting didn't end up getting the role. And during my first semester of university, I felt so discouraged. It was actually the first time in my life I hadn't participated in things outside my my studies, and I just felt so discouraged and felt like uh, maybe maybe I'm not good enough. And then I remember actually doing my first year psychology exam. This is like a multiple choice exam. You know, I'm, I consider myself like pretty smart, uh, able to learn things really quickly. Uh, but perhaps at that point in time, my, my study habits uh, were not as good uh, as, as they ended up being. And I remember uh, going to this exam and looking at the questions and like not knowing the answers to almost any of the questions. There was actually only one answer where where I actually definitively knew the answer, which was, which section are you in? Which section are you in? was basically a bonus question. And I remember I got like 58% uh, on on that exam, on that, on that midterm, I should say. And uh, I think they bell curved it to like 62%. It was the, and to put in context, like you need a 75% average to stay in the program that that I was in and you know I kept I kept uh, not doing so great in any of my classes and I remember I was uh, the week before our final exams my history teacher uh, called me he's like hey King I just want to check in on you and see how you're doing and you know I couldn't I couldn't bear to tell him that it, it wasn't going well so I kind of you know, told a little bit of lie and said, you know, things are going great, you know, uh, you know, as expected, and et cetera, et cetera. And then he turned to me and said, he's a king. You know, out of all my students, uh, you're the one that I always knew that would succeed because, you know, you're not afraid of adversity. And I'll talk about some adversities I had in my life uh, uh, in another another video or if you guys are interested, let me know. Um He's like, he's like, you always work so hard and, and are so determined and, and know that you, you shouldn't settle, that you should try your best and try to achieve your goals. And I remember ending that call, it felt so guilty and so, so disappointed in myself that I, 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 uh, I buckled down, I, I studied super hard and then I was able to basically raised my marks in all my classes from from the final exam. And then in my second semester of university, I kind of like bit the bullet and be like, 
You know what? The way the things I'm doing right now are are not not working, and um, you know I need to change. So I I swallowed my ego. I went to um, a study tip session, and I basically took down like every tip that I could consume. And I'll talk about those in another video if you're interested on study tips for for university. I I took all those all, all those tips there, and um, and uh, apply them to to my studies, and end up improving my grades uh, a ton. And then I went from basically on the verge of failing out of my program to being uh, top five percent uh, in my class uh, at the end uh, in my master's program, and achieving all these really high grades and and taking multiple courses and whatnot. And I remember applying to be an orientation leader. Uh, someone that uh, would basically like help the, you know, the first year students uh, be welcome to the university, and I remember like this is the first like basically extracurricular role that I ever ever got an opportunity for, and uh, I didn't I didn't miss it, I didn't I didn't uh, underrate it by any 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 essence. Basically, what I did was I I showed up a week early. Uh, before the school started and was like volunteering putting things together I would I would be the first one there last one to leave and they really recognized my 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 hard work uh, and effort and I ended up winning like the quote unquote like super leader uh, for for that and that enabled me to have many leadership opportunities at my university really allowed me hone my skills and and as well allowed me more importantly to help as many people as as uh, as I wanted and uh, help me turn me into the community leader that I am today and you know I, I started out with a lot of struggles in university and a lot of self-doubt and uncertainty uh, but through swallowing my own pride working hard seeking advice and and going to other other resources and taking advantage of every opportunity that, that I could and not taking it for granted, uh, it allowed me to, to be the person I am today. So hopefully you found that story time interesting. I know it was a little bit longer. Uh, hopefully that helps you answer your question. And Nate, if you do struggle a little bit or if you end up succeeding, just remember to take advantage of the opportunities. Like universities uh, can be a really wonderful experience. So anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the story.